Hey, what's going on everyone? Sam here. Today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use Zoom in 2021 on your desktop. So if you're unfamiliar or if you've been living under a rock, Zoom is a cloud-based video conferencing platform that allows you to virtually meet with people from all over the world through video and audio. You can do one-on-one -on -one chat sessions or you can grow that into group coaching calls, training sessions, or even virtual events. Now, there are multiple plans available to you starting with the free version that allows you 40 minute sessions with up to 100 participants. And honestly, for most of you, the free version will likely be all you need. All right, so let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how to sign up and use Zoom. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do everybody is go over to zoom.us as you can see in the URL here. Then we're gonna wanna click over and go over to this orange button here and click sign up, it's free. Now with the new, uh, version you will, will likely before this comes up you will likely be asked to uh, enter in your birthday but I did that just before this uh, recording and so it's not prompting me to but don't be alarmed if you see uh, it ask you uh, for your birthday if you have yet to sign up so then you can either enter in your work email address right here and click sign up or you can do SSO which is single sign-on or Google or Facebook now I always tend to do uh, Google just because that is uh, I, I you know I just found it to be the easiest way so we'll go ahead and click Google and then you know depending on how many Google accounts you have you can go ahead and click uh, whichever one so I'm gonna go ahead and click the Picus Productions uh, since that is uh, the one that does not have uh, Zoom installed on it yet so I'll go ahead and I'll click this Okay, so once you get everything entered in, you're gonna be prompted uh, or brought to this page that says welcome to Zoom and we're gonna go ahead and create our account. So here in the uh, upcoming meetings tab, we can schedule our own meeting, which I'll show you here in just a moment. Then in our previous uh, meetings tab, uh, they will all appear here uh, once you have some meetings under your belt. And then onto the third tab, uh, which is uh, your uh, meetings template, um, these will appear here as well and you'll also have all of your uh, meeting ID information. So if you go over here to profile, uh, you know, we can see that uh, we, you know, we have our personal meeting ID and our personal meeting link. So those are ways uh, that you can access your room and also send this out to additional people that uh, you want to bring into your meeting. So scrolling down here, you know, you can see the email that you signed up with, the license type. So if you wanted to upgrade uh, from basic, which we're on there right now, which gives us up to 100 participants, uh, which is also the free version, gives us up to 100 participants and 40 minutes of uh, recording time. So after you've done, so after you've done everything you wanted within your profile, the next step is for you to go and download the Zoom application. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the fact that you know you don't need to have a profile to attend a Zoom meeting, but you will be required to download Zoom once you click the link uh, that was provided to you to join that meeting. So you have multiple ways to download Zoom. Now, one is if we scroll down to the bottom and we click meetings client, or if we go back up here to host a meeting and it says with video off, with video on, screen share only, we can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, with video off for right now. Now, once you do that, you'll be prompted to uh, open Zoom meetings and launch the meeting. So if you don't have Zoom installed, you know, you go ahead and you can click uh, download Zoom. But since I already have it installed, uh, where I'm going to go ahead and open Zoom meetings. So when, when you or other participants join a meeting, this is what you'll see. Now, if you wanted to enter full screen, you could come up here and click the full screen, which will do uh, the full screen for you. I personally don't enjoy that, um, but that's but that's all right. Um, then on the bottom are all of your meeting controls. So all down here is everything that you'll need uh, for uh, your Zoom meetings. 
So on the far uh, bottom left hand side, you can see we have our microphone and our video icon. So if you click the microphone, you can mute and unmute yourself. So once you do that, uh, you have the ability to, <laughs> well, not be heard by anybody. And there are some new settings uh, that I'm not going to dive too deep into. Um, in this video, I'll leave that for another video. But here in the audio settings, um, there is a uh, feature where you can press and hold spacebar to temporarily unmute yourself. So if I go ahead and click and hold spacebar, now you can see that I'm unmuted and it shows right here temporarily unmuted. If you click the small arrow here, just like I showed you, that will bring up all of your settings um, and it, you could select any of your microphones or the speakers uh, that, uh, that you have connected and you can also test your speaker and microphone audio. So then, you know, since I just uh, showed you what you can do in here, uh, you can click the small arrow and that will open up all of your settings and, you know, if you have an additional microphone or another other speaker that you wanted to hear um, from the attendees, uh, you can click uh, this here. Now, this is um, a quick tutorial um, on how to use Zoom, so I won't be going in depth about the settings and I'll save that for another video. So here you can see that we have the video off and you can also click the settings or the, uh, the button here that will open up your settings as well. So we'll go ahead and click that video, turn the video on and now you can see me right here. Hi everybody. So we'll go ahead and turn that back off. And uh, so that's how you can uh, adjust your uh, microphone and your uh, video here. Okay, so moving over, we have the security icon. Now, this allows you to set certain features for your meeting. So if you wanted to uh, enable a waiting room, you can do so here by going ahead and clicking enable waiting room. So once you have that enabled, that uh, checkbox will appear. And if you wanted to disable that, it will be gone. So if we wanted to enable the waiting room, which I highly recommend all of you do, we will have that checkbox here and it'll also show you right there. So right now we have um, participants allowed to chant, rename themselves, unmute themselves, and start video. So depending on what uh, you wanted to do with your uh, uh, meeting, you know, you can uh, make sure that people, you know, can't unmute themselves. So then everybody stays muted and you can uh, unmute them yourself if you wanted to. So now one of the reasons why I always recommend uh, enabling the waiting room is because of the, <laughs> the now known term called Zoom bombing. So, you know, I'm not going to go into what Zoom bombing was. Uh, I'll let you um, look that term up, uh, but I always recommend that. Uh, turning the waiting room on, uh, which allows you to create this virtual lobby, uh, if you will. So when participants join your meeting, that will be uh, they'll they'll be sitting in this lobby waiting for you uh, to allow them to join. So you know this feature makes it so that you know, unwanted people aren't able to join your meeting, which is definitely a good feature you want to have uh, with uh, you know technological advances uh, these days and people's knowledge in in that field. Um, so you can see here that, you know, there are a few extra options here. So if you, you know, don't want people to share their screen, like I just mentioned, you can uh, unclick that. So when the checkbox is gone, they won't be able to. Um, and they could just ask for permission if they wanted to share their screen. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click that. So then moving over, uh, we have the participants icon. So if you click this little arrow right here, it'll actually allow you to invite people. Um, so if you go ahead and click that, this little window will pop up and you know, then you could add your contacts in here um, or you can uh, send them an email uh, through any one of these uh, email providers. Or once again, you can also, you know, copy your invitation link, which is what I like to do. And then you could text that or email that out uh, to, to people um, that uh, are going to be joining your Zoom meeting. OK, so if you actually click on this icon, uh, this video, uh, this new window will appear here on the right. Now, when you're the host or co-host, you have multiple features allowing you to mute, unmute and allow participants to join. So if you have the waiting room enabled, uh, you will see the uh, uh, attendees appear here and you will al be allowed to join them. Now down at the bottom, you also have the uh, invite feature as well as over here. Um, and then also you can mute everybody um, 
by either clicking this button here or pressing Alt M uh, if you are on a desktop. Um, you also have all these extra features right here, um, which is the security features that we just uh, mentioned a moment ago. Okay, so moving on next to that, that's when we have the chat icon. So I'll go ahead and, and close. Uh, actually, you know, I'll show you first here. So if we click the chat icon, now you can see that it appears right here. And if we close the participants one, then the chat is going to be the full screen. So if you wanted to share um, anything with anybody, you know, you can simply go ahead and say, you know, we'll say, hey, everyone. And then since most of the time there's not, it's not just going to be you in the meeting, uh, you could go ahead and click this arrow here and it'll show all the participants in the meeting that you can uh, reach out to privately if you didn't want to send a message to everybody in the meeting. Okay, so then if we go over to the file tab here, this allows you to select any document from your computer or you can simply go and uh, find something uh, from the cloud. And then on these three buttons here that says more, you can uh, simply, one, you can save the chat. So if you wanted um, to save the chat uh, from the meeting that you had, you could do so. Um, and then you can allow, since I'm the host, you know, I can say, hey, I don't want anybody talking to anybody or I only want that person talking to me or, you know, I only want people talking to everybody, but they can't message anyone directly. So this allows you um, multiple ways where the participants can and cannot uh, chat to other uh, participants in the meeting. I always recommend have everyone publicly and directly, uh, which gives uh, everyone to speak to everybody or if they wanted to send a message privately, uh, they, they can do so. Okay, so moving on from there, uh, we have the screen share icon, which allows you to share any of your screens you have available. So if I wanted to share something uh, on YouTube, you know, you can simply click uh, this share screen button here, and then you can go ahead and you can click um, anything. So you can see that I have all of these other um, uh, windows up here. So if I go ahead and say I wanted to share this screen, I could go ahead and say share. Okay, so now you can see uh, that we are now sharing uh, my uh, Chrome uh, window and you know I could go ahead and you know click anything. Let's say we wanted to, to go to YouTube and I could go ahead and I could start, you know, sharing anything I wanted here. Now one thing to keep in mind, um, if you do share something and you do want to share sound, you know, make sure that you do click share sound because it will sound a lot better uh, when you do click that button. Okay, so then continuing on to that, that's when we have the record button. So this allows you to record directly to uh, your local drive, or if you have an upgraded version of Zoom, uh, you're actually able to record to the cloud and it will save in your profile. Now, a newer feature um, are these reactions here to the right, which allows you to put any of these emojis up on your screen. Um, and I think they stay up for about roughly, you know, 20 or 30 seconds. So once you click one of these, you can see it'll appear here in the left hand corner, as you can see it with the heart emoji. Uh, you also have the ability to raise your hand. So if you wanted to ask a question during a meeting, you can simply go here and click raise hand. And now you can see that, hey, you know, one person has their hand raised if you're a host and you can also see that your hand is raised up there. And if the video comes up, I believe, uh, let's see here if we go to open that up and click. Oh, so it's only me. So the gallery view isn't going to show up. Um, so in gallery view, when all the videos are up um, from multiple people, they will appear um, up here and people and if you're the host, uh, the people who have their hands raised will be the first ones up here in the corner. So uh, also, so when you have your hand raised, obviously it'll appear right here and it's not going to go down until somebody lowers it or you can lower it yourself right here. All right, everyone. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, we covered all the basics you'll need to get started with using Zoom in your day-to-day -day life this year in 2021. If you found value in this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any additional questions, uh, once again, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll be happy to answer those for you. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next.